Hi all, welcome to Rax Infotech. Uh, in this uh, video, I'm going to share you uh, how to apply latest RU patch on uh, Oracle Database 19C. Okay, uh, it's been like 17th of uh, January or 21st. Recently, Oracle has been released latest RU patch. So I'm going to show you how to apply that patch. So 21st Jan they released. And if somebody wants to apply uh, previous uh, RU patches, you can follow the order. Like 15th October, we have a before RU. Latest RU is the 21st Jan they released and uh, before that is 15th October. So this document will help you guys to download these patches and complete information about how you are going to apply the RU patch. Let me show you the latest RU patch, how to apply. So, so we have to select this and go, click on this part, this patch number. It will redirect it to you to download options. And here, we are going to download with the Linux operating system. If you are using different operating system, you can select according to that, okay? And uh, if you want to apply the patch on grid infrastructure, you can download this patch, but I'm using non-rack, non-grid infrastructure. So I'm going to download this patch. So my operating system is Linux x86 64 bit. If you are using different operating system, you can download in a different operating system one, okay? So click on the readme file. We need to check how we need to, what are all the prerequisites, how to apply, how to, if any error happen, how to roll back, everything we can go through it through the readme. Okay, I'll show you that also. <coughs> Excuse. Okay, here it is, the readme file. Let me, even I have open uh, readme file here. This is our readme file for latest RU patch. So we need to go with what is patch information, what uh, about like uh, about this RU patch 19.26. If you apply this RU patch, your database version is going to upgrade it to 19.26. October patch is 19.25, okay? Now, what are the prerequisites? So prerequisites means before applying this patch, what you need to do? So you need to do check uh, your O patch version should be 12201.44 or later. This we need to check. If it is lesser version, 43 or 42 something, you can download this 6880 patch, okay? In my case, I already have this uh, patch in my system. I'm not going to download this patch. In my our previous videos, I have shown you, you can go through and download it. Then, uh, patch pre-installation instructions. I don't think, we don't have any much uh, interim patches or anything to apply. We can directly apply this patch. There is no conflicts. We need to set the path and connect it to the database instance, okay? Once we download this main patch, how to download? Just before I showed you, right? Let me, this one. Click on this download button, this patch is going to download, okay? This patch is going to download. It's 1.8 GB something, it is there. I already downloaded. I'm just showing, just you can click on this file. You can able to 1.7 GB, you can download it. Once you download it to your system, okay? I have kept in my uh, system. This is my left-hand side is a system where my uh, patch file is there. That we need to copy to server, okay? In my server, I have U01RU. So in that location, I kept, okay, in my uh, RU patch location, PWD, see here, in this location, I have copied this patch. Okay, so we need to copy from local server to remote server by using Windows AP. Once we copied, uh, we can do unzip. Okay, I'll show you that, how we did the unzip. Okay, this is done. Simply, you need to go to that location, unzip, space, this patch number. That's it. We already unzipped. Once we unzip, that directory will be created. Okay. Once this directory created, this is the zip file. Like this, it is going to. Okay. Once the unzip is done, let me show you. This, see here, this patch is holding all the information. Okay. Starting from 19.3, Onwards, it's 19.5. All these files changes will be there. 19.23, 19.15. All the older changes also it will. Uh, they can include everything. Okay. Suppose you you are in database version of 19.3.00. So you could have a question like, can I apply or shall I apply directly RU patch latest one? Yes, you can. No worries. There is no dependencies. 
you will get all the features and functionalities of 19.20 uh, 6 directly no worries okay once you done this we need to do the prerequisites check whether any patch conflicts is there or not from that location i had, i have not exported the path that's where i used the direct path prerequisites check conflicts against home with the details so i checked it even my o patch version is 1.44 as per readme where is this ah as per readme what is the o patch version should be 1220 1.44 so i was uh, in 1220 1.44 so no need to apply o patch uh latest one so that is fine for me so i'm not going to upgrade my opac utility i check the prerequisites conflicts here it is going to give you clearly there is no prerequisites okay nothing if it is uh, showing some patches or some other recommendations we have to complete that before applying this patch once this prerequisites is done what we need to do we need to take a invalid count uh it is a dev I mean demo instance so i'm not going to take invalids but in real time we have to take the invalid count okay invalid objects also you have to take before and after we need to compare before applying the patch after applying the patch okay i'm going to shut down my pdbs it's already down so if you want to shut down all the pluggable databases you can use alter pluggable database all close uh, all close okay then you can shut down your cdb root once that is done um, I, have, i have stopped the listener also okay listener services also have stopped then i go to this patch directory and apply the patch very simple and straight forward o patch version i checked this is okay and o patch ls patches previous is mine is 19.25 this is october 2024 patch now i started to apply this patch o patch apply is a command and once you given this command just do you want to proceed this patching session give yes and it will ask you is your system is ready for patching give yes why and enter that's it it is going to take some time and it is going to apply the patch if anything i'll uh, we, we have to check if any error throws or any other uh, conflicts we need to sort out let me pause it here once it is succeed i'll uh, again we can resume it okay the patch is uh, applied successfully this one okay these are all the products which components oracle components which are upgraded from our 19.0.002 latest 19.26 okay so let me take this snap or yep yeah, leave it okay once the patch is done we need to start our services okay start up see it's uh, even sql tool also it upgraded to 19.26 earlier it is 19.25 now start up the db okay let me take this map and post in my blog so the theory uh, i mean uh, text format if somebody wants all these snapshots step by step things you can follow my blog there i have posted uh, all these snapshots so that batch applied successfully now start database database and listener need to do that okay it's a multi tenant database so we need to start pluggable database all open so we have two pluggable databases we are going to open it okay before running the data patch web boss after all are you patches mandatorily we need to run data patch web boss so make sure your pluggable database should be up and running okay once it is done we'll start the listener also ls nrctl start that's fine let me take this now okay oh i already it start up is there that's okay let me start the listener yes listener services have started and then we can initiate the data patch where bosh even we can check the invalid count also okay select 
count star from DBA underscore among objects where status equal to invalid zero okay before and after we need to check but in our real uh, applications or databases real time environment we can we, we could able to see some of the standard invalid objects uh, standard means we used to have at least couple of invalids in some environment we may not have that is okay okay Apart from existing invalids, if any new invalids generated, that is the problem. We need to identify and then try to compile the invalids. If those are compiled, that is fine. After you compiled also, even it is not getting valid, we need to raise an SR and work with the support team. That's it. Now what we need to do is we need to run data patch where Bosch from here, data patch, etch. So once you started up the database and then it will take some time. If you want, this will update your registry, db underscore registries, all these latest uh, versions, 19.26, it is upgraded, right? That will update it in your db underscore registry. So that's all about this uh, thing. Let me show you another one, like uh, patches applied or not, right? Let me connect it to Oracle user. Go to Oracle home. O patch. We can check O patch LS patches. It will show you the latest applied patches. The data patch verbose is going to run on another terminal. I open another uh, session and then uh, I'm going to check. It will. It should show 19.26 latest patch. Okay. Give me a second. Let it be. Data patch verbose is going on. Let it be. Okay. Okay. So the O patch 19.26 latest RU patch has been successfully applied. The data patch verbose is going to run. It will take 10 to 15 minutes. It depends upon the server and other thing. The patch is applied successfully run the data patch verbose and yeah these are all the post things and release the instance once that is done data patch verbose we can release the instance to the business users they can start their work okay let me make it data patch verbose That's it. Okay. No interim patches and all. That's all about uh, this patch, guys. If you have any questions or if you have any uh, videos where you want to learn related to Oracle database, comment on our video section. Okay. Thank you.